Well, good morning and happy Sunday, Hoosters. Today is football day. I hope y'all had a good uh, church service because mine, oh, excuse me, y'all, because mine was great. Guess what's on the menu today? We finna do some gumbo. So, y'all, I'm gonna be doing it in sections. Uh, so, we're gonna have some chicken sausage, shrimp, and crab. Chicken, sausage, shrimp, and crab. That's it. So y'all, y'all remember, uh, I got my seasoning uh, coming, and this is what your meat should look like when you use my seasonings. That's what your chicken should look like when you use my seasonings, y'all. So we got these, this chicken. Now with this chicken, and now uh, the sausage is here. It is um, Louisiana and Dooley because I like the spice that it gives. It is already cut up, but we will be frying these. Well, I'm going to get my chicken brown. I'm not going to cook it through, but I'm going to uh, um, brown all my chicken and I'm going to also brown uh, my sausages as well. Uh, we do have the Trinity. Uh, y'all, we have, ooh. Uh-oh, let me bring it down because my onion rolling, my onion rolling. We got the Trinity. We got one whole bell pepper. We got one whole onion. I have five, four uh, garlic cloves and I have three um, celery. And I have three bay leaves, which will be going uh, in there as well. Of course, you have to have your uh, gumbo uh, filet. Now, I do have my chicken bouillon powder because once I brown my chicken, uh, I'm going to put it to a boil with the chicken broth that I'm going to prepare as well. And when it starts to get soft, I'm going to take it all off the bone because I really don't want all the bones in my gumbo while you're trying to eat all this goodness, y'all. So once I get everything cut up and browned, I'll be back because we're going to be doing the roux when I come back. So see y'all. Okay, my beautiful hostess, we are now browning our chicken. You see this big old gumbo pot, a soup pot or whatever pot you want to call it. When we brown the chicken, it's going to go in this pot, right? Then we'll brown the sausage. But we're going to keep them on the side for a minute because, like I said, after I brown all my chicken, we're going to create a chicken broth with that browning chicken. And then uh, we're going to debone it once we're finished doing that. So stick and stay, baby. It's coming. Hey, Hustas, I'm back. So I got a whole lot of stuff uh, started. So let me show y'all what's in this big pan because I've already created, created my... Um, uh, chicken broth, honey. Ooh, I gave it a taste and it is the bomb. And so I have my, my sausages browning, but I want to do the roux um, with you guys, okay? So let's see what's in this big pan. In that pan is uh, the brown chicken and the homemade chicken broth. Now with this broth, I just uh, put hot water uh, right uh, above the chicken, maybe two inches above that chicken, and I added some of the onions and bell pepper and celery and all that good stuff. I added one cup of chicken broth and then a slew of seasonings. Not my seasonings for the meat, but you know, all the other seasonings that I use. So over here, can y'all see it? We got the sausages browning right here. Once they get through browning, um, I am going to uh, measure this all that's in here because together we're going to make the roux and you have to have uh, some of the same measurements from the oil to the flour. So with that said, honey, I'll be back. Okay, y'all, so in this skillet with all that good stuff on beyond there, I did add one cup of vegetable oil to one cup of flour. You want to stir that and get all the lumps out. Then you want to cook this low and slow. I have this on low. 
because you have to now let your um, mixture come to a doodle brown or a chocolate brown or whatever brown so I'll be coming back every time it changes a little bit more color so stay tuned I will see y'all in a moment y'all see how let me bring y'all up closer y'all see it's turned a nice tan color not necessarily our color but it's coming along and look at all those uh, juices up in there that's from the chicken and the sausage y'all know this is going to be some good root for that gumbo yeah Look at that. That is so pretty. We'll be back. Y'all see that? See it then browned a little bit more. So you want it to get like a little bit more darker. I kind of want it to be skin color. Hey. Look at that. But you know you got to keep stirring y'all. Can't let it sit. You know, you, you know, I'll walk away for only maybe a minute because I'm doing something else. But do not let this sit because if you burn your roux, baby, you got to start all over again. So we'll be back when it gets to the color. Okay, y'all, look at that color. Ain't that pretty? It's almost where I want it to be. It's kind of like a chocolate brown. Uh, I'm about to add in the dry veggies, y'all, so uh, give me one moment, and I'll be back. That is so pretty, ain't it? Look how chocolate that is. Is it almost my skin color, y'all? Look how chocolate that is. Don't forget the measurements is one and one, equal amounts, one cup of oil to one cup of flour, low and slow with a bunch of bunch of stirring and now the chicken got about 20 more minutes to boil before I uh, take it off the bone y'all and then after I take it off the bone then I will uh, then add my my roux uh, to that and let it cook for about 30 minutes and then we'll add in the seafood after that y'all I'll be back okay y'all we're gonna add the celery the onion and the bell pepper and the bay leaves we'll add the garlic a little bit later we're gonna cook this for about five minutes y'all low and slow get that stirred in. Look how beautiful and brown that is, y'all. Y'all see this? Look at that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh my God. That's just the pace you want, y'all. Oh, that's beautiful and brown. Get them bay leaves under there. Let them get a little soft under that good old stuff there. Mm-hmm. Low, y'all. Oh, and it smells so I'm going to lightly season this very lightly, y'all. Because uh, when I add the broth in here, it's going to be out of the pot of the chicken. But I want to always season in layers because you want your stuff to be good. But be careful with your salt. I'm not going to add no salt in here, y'all. Just a sprinkle here and a sprinkle there. That's what us color folk do. Just a sprinkle. I'm not adding no salt, y'all. Oh, that smells so good. So we'll let that cook down, and then uh, we'll be back. Look at that. That is just absolutely beautiful. Peace out, hoodsters. We've added the garlic, y'all. Let's get that stirred in as well. our liquid in here from the from the chicken broth over there after stewing we get we uh we want it to be watery y'all not thick we want it to be watery so when we pour it back in that pot it'll be just wonderfully 
just until the garlic starts smelling, y'all, then we will be good. Uh, y'all, I added the broth, so that's how you want it to look when you add it back in the pot. So we'll be back once I debone the chicken. And again, we're going to let it cook, and then we'll add the sausages and the seafood. Well, we'll add the sausages once we debone the chicken and put it back, and then we'll let that cook for like 20 minutes, like I said, maybe even 30, because you want all that just to marry each other and that good warmth in that pot so it can be hugged and rubbed and all that good, good, good stuff. And then we'll add the seafood, y'all. We'll be back. All right, y'all, we done cut up that chicken. We're going to put the chicken back in this pot. Of course, we got the wings in there because you can't cut up a wing and you definitely can't debone a wing. Let me raise this up, y'all, so y'all can see what I'm doing. Wait a minute. And then we're going to add in some gumbo filet. I better raise it up a little bit more. We're going to now take this roux. Y'all remember this roux? We're going to now poured in this pot as well and then we're going to be adding in uh, the gumbo filet and any more seasonings that you choose to add y'all but I tell you this chicken broth in here is, is everything honey Ooh, be careful honey Right in my face, y'all. I hope I don't have no bad burns. Ooh, that don't feel good. Y'all get at a good stir because you don't want no lumps in your stuff. We're going to put in these sausages that we browned. Y'all, it's pretty up in here. We're going to have to let y'all see. Let's come on over and so we can see what's in this big old pan over here. Look at that. Look at that goodness in there. We're going to let this uh, simmer, y'all, for about 30 minutes, like I said. But we're going to add the gumbo filet. And we're going to uh, taste it and make sure those seasonings are right. And we'll be back when we're adding the seafood. Okay, y'all, we back. About to add that seafood in that big old pot. Look at that. Ain't that gorgeous? And it smells off the freaking choy. So, y'all, let's get the seafood in here. We're going to do the blue crab first. I will be back. All right, y'all, we about to add these crabs in here. I have about five crabs. I am going to simply break them in half, y'all, because I'm feeding some people. They don't get the whole shebang. So, y'all, just break them in half. Ooh, that one got a big old claw. Y'all see that one? It's a big old claw, y'all. All right, y'all. We're going to let these cook for about uh, 15 minutes, and then we'll come back and we're going to add all the shrimp in and let them cook for about uh, five minutes or less than that. We can just put them in here and cut the fire off because, you know, um, shrimp will keep cooking. Y'all, we've also made a pot of rice because, you know, you need the rice. That's good and ready to go. So, uh, we'll be back when we add the shrimpies. All right, y'all. We about to add these shrimp in here, honey. If I, t it, ooh, I wish, uh, I wish we had a, a, a scratch sniff. Honey, it smells so good. But I'm ready to eat it, though. Okay? Okay. Let's get ready to put the shrimp in. Y'all ready? Let's do this. I 
I bought a pound and a half of shrimp that was already deveined and peeled. I did not want to do that extra work. So y'all, we're just going to put it all in there. We're going to put it all in there. Give it a stir. Y'all, 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 you want to see in the pot, don't you? Do you? Yeah, you do. Look at that. Look at that goodness in there. Look at that. Ooh, y'all ready for some? Y'all ready for some? All right, y'all. We'll let this cook for another five minutes and then we are done yay look at that y'all know what i'm talking about i'll see y'all in a minute because we're gonna eat together how about that peace out y'all watch me make a nice bowl of this gumbo honey i'm so ready i don't like a lot of rice this is all the rice i like in mine that's it I don't want all that rice, maybe a little bit more. I don't like a lot of rice. Because uh, it soaks up too much of the, the uh, juice. So let's bring this pot over here. See, so I can see me serve this up. I don't think I want no crabs right now. So y'all, look, look, at look, look, look. How am I going to do this, y'all? That's them shrimp, sausages, all oh, the bell pepper. I'm trying to. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Here go the good stuff, y'all. Ooh, you going to add a little hot sauce? I think I want some more chicken up in here. Let me find me some more chicken up in here. It's full up in here. Ooh, that go a, a nice piece. There we go. Y'all ready? Ooh, baby, it's going down, honey. Ooh, that's hot. Look at that. Y'all ready for it? Do I need to add my hot sauce now? No, but look, let's make it pretty. How about that? Just a little sprinkle of... I'll be back, y'all. I forgot I was looking at the game. You know, they already copyrighted me on another game. I know they're going to hear this game in the back. I don't know, y'all. But you know what? Who cares? We got gumbo. All right, y'all. You ready? You ready? Oh, baby. Let's give it a taste. Mm, it's hot, hot. Mm, mm. Oh. Oh, that's so good. Y'all, yeah, here. Take a bite. We need some crackers. It's hot. Mm. Mm. Look at them cereal, y'all. Mm. Mm. Child. Yeah, baby, I'm gonna add me some hot sauce. Y'all will see this video soon. Bye.